Jesus Christ. A very warm welcome to today's class. We shall begin the class with a small prayer. Join your hands and close your eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us this opportunity to know more about you. Bless us with your Holy Spirit and fill us with your wisdom and knowledge. Grant us the courage to always follow your way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear children in Jesus Christ, I hope all of you are doing fine. Let's recall what we learned in the previous class. In the previous class, we were introduced to Lesson 6, the Holy Eucharist, a life-giving sacrifice. We journeyed through the Old Testament and came across the sacrifices in the Old Testament. We also came across the story of Abraham and Isaac. We learned the five different types of sacrifices in the Old Testament. We also learned the purposes of the sacrifices. Do you remember the purpose of offering sacrifice? Good. Now, let's list them down. To worship God. To thank God. To ask pardon for our sins and to receive blessings from God. But these sacrifices weren't enough to fulfill these purposes in its entirety. So God decided to bring His only Son to the world and save mankind. We kept sinning. We grew distant from God. Our relationship with God was tainted. In order to fix this broken relationship, God decided to send His only Son to the world, to save us from sin and also to make us participants in His divine life. In today's class, we will take a stroll down the New Testament and witness the greatest sacrifice in history. God chose Mary to be the mother of Jesus so that He could come to this earth, live with the people on earth and finally die for us, to save us from sin. The greatest expression of God's love is the cross on Calvary. As St. John rightly says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. Gospel of St. John, chapter 3, verse 16. Let me explain this with a story. Mr. John waited outside a closed door. He was waiting for news from the doctor about his wife. He could hear screams coming out from the ward. After a few minutes, a doctor walked out, followed by a nurse. They rushed up to him and said, Your wife is in a critical condition. We can either save your wife or your child. You must make a choice. Mr. John was shocked. He said, I cannot make a choice. I love both of them equally. Give me five minutes. And the doctor said, we don't have time. You must make an immediate choice. Mr. John was very sad and he told the doctor, Please ask my wife. Whatever she chooses, I will be happy with it. And the doctors rushed back in. After 10 minutes, Mr. John hears the cry of a baby. The doctors bring a baby boy wrapped in linen and hands him over to John. And, he, and they said, Your wife chose the child. Congratulations, you're a father. After a few years, the boy grows up and John sits him down and tells him, your mother gave up her life so that you can have a life. Always be grateful to her and remember your mother's sacrifice. In the same manner, Jesus became the ultimate sacrificial lamb to break us from the bondage of sin. When Jesus offered himself on the cross, he broke the age-old tradition of offering a lamb in repentance for our sins. For that was followed by the Jews all the years before the sacrifice. That custom was removed. And now 
If you wanted redemption for your sins, you just have to pray to the good Lord who sacrificed his life for us. Now, let's watch the greatest sacrifice in history. Now, let's watch a video of the greatest sacrifice in history. Jesus didn't want to end his sacrifice at the cross. He wanted us to participate in the sacrifice. And so he instituted the Holy Eucharist. The night previous to his death, Jesus had his last supper with his disciples. He took the bread, blessed it, broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, this is my body. Take and eat. And then he took the cup, thanked the Father, blessed it and gave it to his disciples and said, Come and drink this. This is the blood of my covenant, shed for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me when you assemble in my name. Each Holy Mass is a surrender, the greatest adoration. Holy Mass is an offering that makes Jesus' sacrifice present to us today. The Syrian term Kurbana means surrender or offering. Now, let's watch a small video of the Last Supper. This is my body, which is given for you. This cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. This do in remembrance of me. children. Yet a little while I am with you. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I came forth from the Father and am come into the world. Again I leave the world and go to the Father.
when we actively take part in the holy kurbana we receive certain fruits of the holy kurbana now what are these fruits the fruits of holy kurbana are gives us forgiveness of sins gives us growth in divine life strengthens our bond of unity with christ and helps helps us to grow in communion with the church now repeat after me gives us forgiveness of sins gives us growth in divine life strengthens our bond of unity with god and helps us to grow in communion with the church when we lead a life of sacrifice we completely surrender to god's will therefore the essence of the life of sacrifice is to completely surrender to god's will let's recall what we learned in today's class we journey through the new testament witness the greatest sacrifice in history the death of jesus on the cross to save us from the bondage of sin and death so what is the holy eucharist holy eucharist is the sacrifice offered to god by the church along with jesus through the priest in memory of the suffering death burial and resurrection of jesus now when we actively take part in the holy eucharist we receive the fruits of the holy spirit what are they gives us forgiveness of sins gives us growth in divine life strengthens our bond of unity with christ and last but not the least helps us to grow in communion with the church now let's take a decision like jesus who sacrificed his life on the cross for us i too will do the sacrifices for others be it at home in school in church or in the community i hope you enjoy today's class let's end the class with a prayer join your hands close your eyes jesus you offered your life in atonement for our sins give us the grace to live a life according to your will and lead a life of sacrifice in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen have a blessed sunday